Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be filming a makeup vanity tour video. So if you guys want to see a tour of my makeup vanity and what's in it, then stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, this is part of my room. Um, my bed is behind behind but my little beautiful daughter is on the bed and she doesn't want to be in my video so I'm not gonna make her but she's she's right there but <laughs> my hands blocking you <laughs> but this is my room okay and my vanity is actually in my room over here because I have this like really weird nook area um and for a while, my bed was actually in here, which was super cool because it was like a cave. But I decided that this is a better area for my vanity. So obviously, now my vanity is in here. My flooring is wood in my room, but I do have this big carpet in here. I have this carpet here. But I also have a carpet over here because of echoing. This kind of helps with the echoing when I'm filming because I do film over here. There's my camera. I do film in my vanity area as well. It's easy because this is like a nice backdrop. It's just like plain. And then I have my little monitor set up on the wall and my camera. And then this lighting is okay for filming. And obviously I have like that for my to light up my backdrop or whatever. But, um, First things first, I have this here, which is not really part of my vanity, but I'll show you anyways. This just has some of my um, clothing that I sell. I have a boutique, and I do keep all of my inventory at home, so it's kind of in different places around the house because I don't have, like, a, an office yet, but um, some of that stuff is here. This is, like, overflow. I would consider it overflow. I have some art, which I need to hang and I need to frame and rehang a bunch of stuff because this is going to be my art wall up here and I want to have just like all my art up here and probably this wall too but I have so many pieces that are either in a frame and not hung up or not in a frame yet so that's one of them and then I just got this in a PR package it's like a big fan this was from pop beauty and this was actually really nice i used this today when i was wearing my setting spray but i just thought this was cute so i decided to keep that from the pr i also have a little plant up here for decoration i have some lotion i really like hemp's lotion a lot but this one is almost gone so i just have that up here then i have my little fridge this is my like skincare fridge which i don't really use it to be honest and i don't use the skincare that's in here either even though i just replenished it i also got these in the pr package from pop beauty these are eye patches and then these are lip patches but i just stuck these in here because i thought they would feel nice if they were cold and then i have some eye cream this is from glam glow I have some other face creams i think this is a like a yogurt face mask from glam glow as well i have my little eye under eye patches these are like reusable and they're nice when they're cold and then just some more like lotions i don't really use these that much i really should put this little skincare fridge in my bathroom because that's where i do my skincare but i'll reach for these when i'm doing my makeup because this is where i do my makeup at so that's kind of cute i got this on amazon if i remember i will link some of these things in the description box down below if you want to grab them for yourself like this little fridge my whole vanity itself okay so the carpet is from home depot i really like this carpet like look how fluffy it is it's so soft it's a little pricey and it kind of sucks because like here's some foundation like it's getting dirty because this is where i do my makeup but i really do love this carpet so much it's so nice and this was from home depot like i said if i can find these things i will link them in the description box below so you can just go right to them so my carpet's from Home Depot. My vanity, um, these are Alex drawers from Ikea. I want to say they're like 80 bucks each around there. Um, I got two of them. And then this tabletop comes separate. This is also from Ikea. They come in different sizes. I believe this is the longest size that they have. So this is from Ikea. And then my vanity mirror is from Impressions Vanity. And I actually had a girlfriend that was working there. And she posted about a warehouse sale. I think this 
is originally like either 600 or 800 i'm not 100 percent sure but i got this for like 300 dollars at their warehouse sale i think it's the biggest size mirror that they have it's cool because it is um dimmable so you can like dim the lights they're very bright. Here's a little off and on switch. Very bright. I love my vanity mirror. I kind of want to get warm tone lights though because I think they might look better for filming purposes, but I have the cool tone lights on there now. There was different options for the light bulbs, but these are the ones I got. And honestly, it's amazing. I love this. It also has a, there's me. Um, I look a little ratchet today, but that's okay. There's also an outlet on the side. So you can plug in your things to the mirror. I believe the newer mirrors have um, built-in uh, speakers, maybe? I don't know if it's speakers or like a music player and they have like touch screen here. And then I think they have like USB ports on the side. This is an older one and I'm perfectly happy with this. I don't feel like I need the one that like can play your music or whatever with Bluetooth. I don't even know. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I'm super happy with this version. I don't know if they still sell this one, but I will link um, either this one or a similar one in the description box down below. Description box. Say description box 10 times fast, okay? Anyways, I have some perfume up here. This is one of my favorite companies. This is from Dossier. I actually work with them a lot and they have really good perfumes. They did not sponsor this video, but they have sponsored other videos in the past. I just really, really like their scents and um, this one's really good too. This is Floriental Brown Sugar, but because I like this one so much, I do keep it on my vanity. I also have my makeup brushes. These makeup brushes are my like everyday go-to makeup brushes these are my favorites the ones that i reach for the most if you want a video on like all my favorite makeup brushes definitely let me know because i'm happy to film one but i keep my favorite makeup brushes in this little container up here and then this is my little hipsy his hispy hissy this is like a bluetooth camera remote um, I don't really need this anymore because I just discovered the Lens Buddy app, which is amazing. And, you know, I don't really need this anymore now that I have the Lens Buddy app for taking selfies. But I do have this up here on my vanity. I also have this mirror. I really love this mirror. I know there's a big mirror here, but sometimes you just need to get a little closer. So I do have this one. I think I got this at Costco a long time ago. This is really nice. I like this. It moves up and down. Very nice. And then over here, I have this little ring light. This was actually sent to me in a PR package from... Who sent this to me? I want to say Dermalogica, but I'm not 100% sure. Some skincare brand sent this little ring light to me and it is so perfect it has like a warm tone and a cool tone setting you can dim it and brighten it it's really cool and i use this when i'm filming i put it in front of me kind of to like light me up from this way um i know i have this but i set this on the warm tone which kind of like makes my skin tone look better when i'm filming i also have my camera i have a rebel t5 this is really old i've been using this ever since i started filming youtube videos which hasn't been like that that long but it has been a few years like five years or something uh honestly i could probably use a new camera now but they're expensive so i just use this one and it works all right i'm obviously filming with my phone today because the iphones have like great cameras now like you don't even really need a camera like this if you don't want to because the iPhones just work so good. But um, this is what I film all my makeup videos with. And then I have my monitor here as well so I can like see what I'm doing um, when I'm filming. I also have some extra supplies back here. That's acetone, this is alcohol, this is uh, Windex or like Target's version of Windex. And then I have paper towels so I can wipe down my mirror or my vanity counter. This is some gel polishes, which should really go in the drawer where all the rest of my gel stuff is, but it doesn't fit. So right now it's back here. And then I have this little acrylic container that I got from Home Goods. Um, I love Home Goods because these can be super expensive, but Home Goods, I want to say this was like no more than 20 bucks and it's really pretty big right now i just keep all my glasses in there i can't really open it right now because this tripod's in the way but i do keep all my sunglasses in there i believe these two are empty because i kind of just got this not that long ago but home goods had a lot of different options for these like acrylic containers so that's nice 
And then I also have this. This is just like a bunch of excess lashes because I like to reuse my lashes. So when I take them off, I just throw them in here so I can clean them off and reuse them later. I have this little jar of sand that my beautiful little daughter made for me. So cute. This little mason jar. So that stays there. And then I also have this piece of art, which my daughter got for me. How cute is that? So cute, right? I think she got that for me. When did you get me this little puppy picture? Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Yeah, that was my Christmas gift. It is so adorable. I'm going to hang this on my art wall as well. I just need to get a, around to it. This is a painting from my tattoo artist, the guy that did all my tattoos, Franco Vescovi. He did this painting of Marilyn Monroe and he gave that to me. So nice. This is a painting that Norm did. Um, my boyfriend that passed away. This was one of his paintings. I wish I could take it down because on the back of it, there's like a big long love letter that he wrote when he gave it to me, but um, very thankful to have that because that's special to me. And then when he died, uh, someone gifted this to me because Norm, N-O-R-M, Norm stands for No One Rules Me. So someone made this for me and gifted it to me um, after he passed away. So this is obviously very special to me and super cool. And then this is a picture of the Hollyweed sign because my friend, um, well, I don't know if he's really my friend, but we like, we're friends on Instagram and we conversate on the internet, but we've never met in real life, but we do talk to each other on Instagram. Anyways, um, he's the guy that did the the Hollyweed thing and I just thought this was a really dope picture and he was selling these so I bought one from him and I have it up there so that's cool those are just some ugly little paintings they're not even paintings some ugly little prints from <laughs> Ikea I personally don't like these and I want to take them down and I will eventually but they're just gonna stay there for now but I don't like those but they are from Ikea and so are the frames Okay, and then I have this little stool. I bought this a long time ago when I was microblading, which was a few years ago, and I don't do that anymore, but I believe I got this at Home Goods, and it's perfect. I really like it. Um, this is a trash can. <laughs> this is my light. I love this. This is great. It comes off, and it also can be battery-powered, even though I just use it when it's plugged in. You could take this off. This is great for selfies, okay? This is like a great little portable light. So good. But I use it now. It's like an LED light panel. I use it now um, to light up my backdrop because it it just gets so bright. It's amazing. But this is really good for selfies, okay? Don't sleep on this. If you like to take selfies, definitely grab yourself one of these. I will link this down below as well, but I have two of these because they're just so good. And then this... I got this container also at Home Goods. It's filled to the brim. It reminds me of like one of those mail containers. But this is PR. Here's another dossier perfume. Um, this is all PR, like extra makeup that I haven't got around to yet that's been sent to me in PR. Um, these are from Pixie. Obviously, this thing is just filled to the brim. There's like so much in here. And there's a little selfie tripod but this is just like pr overflow and stuff that i i put it in here and then when i film makeup videos which i need to start filming way more than i do but when i film makeup videos i will reach in here and like try and use new products so that's my little pr overflow bin and this is just filled with new unused products so that's fun and then over here I have this little outlet, which I love, by the way. I got these in a pack at Costco, and these are, like, really nice. This is just, like, overflow, kind of just, like, a little storage area. You don't really see this ever unless you literally come over here. So I just have, like, this big thing, which I need to buy another one of these because, obviously, it's, like, exploding. I can't even close it because it's just filled with papers. But um, this is just, like, filled with important papers and stuff. Here is another one of those LED lights. I told you I have two great for selfies um oh here's some overflow which I should probably put in here um and then again just some important papers and then this was Norm's little hat uh someone gave this to me when he passed away and I'm very happy to have it because it's special to me and 
it still kind of smells like him but i just keep that there for now i should probably put it in a better safer place but for now i just keep it over here so it doesn't get bent or anything and then moving over here this is a little sad so here's just an empty makeup bag here's an empty makeup bag i keep these for like traveling even though i don't really travel i haven't traveled in a long time because like covid but um I am going to Vegas next week, so sometimes I'll take these and, like, put my travel stuff in here or, like, my makeup when I'm traveling. Um, so that's why these are here, and I don't really have any other place to put them, so they're just kind of under here for now. Um, this is a container of, like, used products because I have been filming, like, empty videos of, like, products that I've used up completely. So I did put this under here, and I'm just kind of, like, accumulating all my empties until there's enough to like film with so those just kind of stay there because it's like trash and i like try and keep it all the way and then i have bless you i have my gucci bag this one is special to me because norm bought this for me and i like don't want to use it because i don't want to get it dirty i did use it for a while but i want it to like stay in nice condition so i haven't been using it but, um, Norm would tell me, like, who cares, use it. Like, he used to use, he had Gucci shoes. He was, like, a Gucci fiend, and that's why he bought me Gucci, too. But his Gucci shoes were, like, just crazy. They were so worn in. Like, you couldn't, they are so dirty. And he would, like, spray paint in his Gucci shoes, tattoo in his Gucci shoes. So he would tell me, I know he would tell me, like, who cares, just use it. Get it dirty. Like, you know, use it. But I, like don't want to use it because it's so special to me oh like i have like matches in here what's that from the highbrow hmm so anyways um i don't really want to use this because i don't want to get it dirty so it's just kind of it was in the dust bag but i took it out the other day and then what else is in here oh my coach bag which norm also bought me is in here because i don't really use it even though i should because it's cute and i need like a brown purse and it's just kind of like a nice basic ass bag so I have my coach bag in here, and then I think I have my Gucci wallet, which I don't really use this. Norm gave this to me, and it's a little too big for my liking, but I just keep it in here to keep it safe. So there's that, and here's like another, another bag um, that just stays down here, and that just stays there too. So there's that. And then I have this big bag, which has been under here since 2019. Norm passed away October 2019. And all, like, the special sentimental things that I have either from him, of his, or that he gave to me, I've just been keeping, like, the hat over there and then um, the stuff in here in the Gucci bag. I should just use it because it's, like, just this stuff specifically in this bag has literally been in this bag this whole time. But I just, like, don't want anything to happen to it. This is my book. I don't know why that's in there. But this is a Norm thing. I think he did this with Bug. I think this is Norm and Bug. Yeah, and Bug, um, he just passed away, too, so that's crazy. But this is, like, a coffee table book that Norm gave me, which is some, like, cool um script and lettering stuff so this is special to me i will definitely keep this and this is another coffee table book that norm bought for me when we were together in new york this is from one of his friends and this is like cute like graffiti um they're like love letters and this one is a love letter for you and norm's tattoo shop was called love letters so that's special also you know just it's like nostalgic sentimental like this is special to me and then i have these in here which are some louis vuitton slides that norm put his name on i told him i was like i want slides that say your name and he painted these on here, which I think is so cool. I think I have a time-lapse video somewhere of him painting these for me. But um, he was selling these for a while. I think he sold a couple pairs. But obviously, these are special. I don't want to wear them because I don't want the paint to come off. So I'm thinking of putting these in a shadow box and maybe, like, framing them because these are really cool. And then these are my – what glasses are these? 
These are my Gucci glasses that I bought at the Gucci outlet, which are honestly not that cute. And I bought them. It was like an impulse buy because they were normally like four or five hundred dollars. I think I got them for like 180 and like I don't even like them that much. But I was like, I have to have them because they're on sale because they're at the outlet. But I literally never wear them. But the day that I bought these, I also bought Norm a pair of Gucci slides. So these are like also sentimental to me. But I should wear these because they're kind of kind of funky. Um this has been in here all crinkled up this is norm's supreme sweatshirt and the reason i have it in here hold on it's just this like blue color but it says oh my god it says supreme on the side and the whole reason i have it like bunched up in here is because it still smells like him it still smells like him and it still smells like his bedroom and his closet and so to, like, preserve the smell, I've literally just kept it, like, crinkled up in this bag. Because I can, like, take it out and it still smells like him. But I feel like I should start wearing it or something because it's literally just been sitting in this bag since he passed away. And he passed away October of 2019. So it's, like, going on two years now. And then I think, oh, this was a t-shirt that he gave me. And then I also have... These are like my home birth videos. Oh, oh my God. This is an impression of Norm's actual teeth because when he went to Germany, he got his teeth done. He got a bunch of gold teeth and they had to take an impression. And he knows that I'm like a weirdo and I collect like baby teeth and stuff. So um, <laughs> he's like, here, you can have an impression of my teeth. So that's kind of funny, but he did give that to me. And this is my passport. My passport photo is in here somewhere. I've never gone anywhere out of the country, so I don't really even need this, but where's my pass? Oh, make sure I don't show up. Oh, there's my passport photo. I got this so long ago. I had brown hair back then. This is when I was first dating Norman. I was like going to start traveling with him, but I never did. But I did get a passport. So I do have a passport. I don't even know if it's still valid, but have that um these are zoe's like birth videos which i recently got converted to um to like digital so that's cool and dvd this is so silly but i bought this on the last night that i ever saw norm so i obviously kept them because it's like special and there's still gum in here so it's like two years old but the last time i ever saw norm we went to cvs and i bought these so i was like oh my god i'm gonna keep them and then this this is a norm machine because he also made and sold tattoo machines and my friend franco gave this to me when he passed away because he knew it would be special to me and this was one of the last machines that he ever made in 2019 because he always signed and dated them and I don't tattoo but obviously this is very special because he made this and he always did like cool cool things in here but um there's a hundred dollar bill in this one that's cool so um this is very special I'll probably put this in a shadow box eventually as well and then put it up there somewhere on my art wall but um obviously this is super special to me as well and these are just like i think these are receipts from the louis vuitton store because he bought me some louis vuitton shoes and stuff and there's just like this gucci dust bag and then i think what's in here oh i think i know what's in here um this is a Gucci bracelet that's very tarnished, but it's a Gucci, Gucci bracelet that Norm bought me as well. I need to clean this because I should wear that. That's cute. And then this is a ring. This one's actually my friend Isaiah's ring. He also passed away, so that's why I've kept this because it's special. And then where'd the other ring go? Isn't there another ring in here? Oh, yeah. And I also have this Gucci ring, which Norm also got for me, which I should clean this off as well. I'm actually going to put this stuff up here because I should clean that and wear that. So that's what's in here. 
And of course, it's all in a Bishop tattoo supply bag. This is Franco's company because, like I said, Franco um, gave me the machine and a couple of uh, Norm's things, which was really nice because he was one of the only people that was really nice to me during that situation, which I will talk about in other videos. But um, yeah, that's what's in this bag, and it's literally been here since Norm passed away. I just haven't really wanted to like deal with it yet you know like I know it's here and I'm like grieving and healing and stuff but I haven't wanted to like move it yet I just wanted to like leave it the way it was and the way it smells you know what I mean like if you've lost a loved one then you know what I'm talking about but I just haven't wanted to deal with it yet and I'm finally starting to feel like maybe I'll start wearing the sweatshirt and like putting the tattoo machine in a special box you know I'm finally almost ready to deal with what's in this bag so Probably soon I will deal with it. But anyways, moving on. Didn't mean to get all sad on you guys. <laughs> um, okay, top drawer. This drawer is kind of, I don't want to say a junk drawer, but it's like a miscellaneous drawer. That's a much better word. This is like a miscellaneous drawer. These are mostly new products. Um, same with like this. But these are new products that I want to use like now, even though... I haven't, but these are just basically all new products that I want to film with, like, first, so there's that, I need to go through this, I should do another video on, like, decluttering, because I need to declutter all of these drawers, this is all my setting sprays, I have my mirrors back here, I also have, like, cleansers, like, um, this is a cleanser, and this is a cleanser for my beauty blenders. I think that little thing back there is a cleanser too, but I do keep my mirrors in this drawer as well. And then I keep all my makeup sponges in here, which I like never use anymore. Um, this is kind of like a little miscellaneous thing. Some of the sponges have made their way over here, but there's like hair clips in here. There's some devil horns. Um, I take those off every night <laughs> before I go to bed. And some floss. Also like a random lotion is in here, which that shouldn't be in here. These are all like my extra makeup brushes. I have literally so many. And then these are all my extra makeup brushes as well. That's why I keep my favorites up here so they don't get like mixed up. Um, and then I reach for these like when needed. And then I have my bar soap for when I do my soap brows. And that's this drawer. If you guys want more in depth on like what's in these drawers, like let me know. But for the sake of just getting through this video, I'm just getting through this video. This is kind of a miscellaneous drawer also. It started off as mostly skincare, but since then, like, other things have made their way in here. Like, this is an ear camera, a smart visual ear cleaner. So, this is probably so dangerous, and you shouldn't use these, but I did buy this on Amazon, and it has, like, a little camera on there. So, I think you can, like, scoop your earwax out with this at the same time while filming it. Very, very, very disturbing. Um, I don't recommend this product, but I will link it if you want to get one for yourself. Uh, very weird experience. Also, I do think that this is highly frowned upon by doctors and not recommended and definitely not safe because you can like bust your eardrum. So I don't recommend, but I do have one of those. Um, this is like you put your lashes in here, so that's kind of cool. There's an extra mirror in there. I don't know, just like a bunch of random skincare products. More skincare. Got like makeup wipes in here and just like more random skincare products. Like I said, if you want like in-depth videos, I could literally do a whole video on just like each individual drawer, which I might do because I might do like decluttering videos, which people love. These are boric acid suppositories for like yeast infections and um, BV, which these are actually amazing. I love these so much um, versus like taking antibiotics all the time, um, but I do keep those in there. Um, so yeah, just like skincare, girly stuff, whatever. This is all my palettes, all my eyeshadow palettes. I just have so freaking many palettes in here. It's ridiculous, and I don't even use half of these. I really need to start decluttering again because I did that a while ago, and then I just get more stuff. I also have, like, individual eye products back here. Honestly, a lot of this is old, too, so I feel like I need to get in here and, like, do a big, huge declutter. But I just have all my eyeshadows and like random individual eye products this is pretty much all eyeshadow 
stuff though. And then this drawer, I don't know why this little trash can keeps falling. This drawer is like a junk drawer, but it's not junk. It's just kind of like a miscellaneous, um, kind of like supply drawer. Oh, here's a little tag from Norm's Apprentice. Little her. Um, these are actually for the this light, okay? So these are for that light, so you could do like warm tone, whatever. This is my old work badge. I used to work at Planned Parenthood as a front office staff, which I don't really tell much people, but that was an interesting experience. I just worked in the front office, but um, I was very young when I worked this job. Um, also, some lighters are in here. I don't know why I have an extra little thingy. This is like a vaporizer that you like inhale when you're like stuffy, a nasal decongestant inhaler. See, I told you, very random things. Battery chargers for my cameras. These are more plates for those um, LED lights. This is for the smaller one, but you get the you get the gist. Um, charger, battery. This is like a little individual tripod. I got my Polaroid camera, which somebody bought for me, which is so nice. Um, this is like a waterproof phone case. I have my headphones back there. I have a tattoo machine cord. I'm pretty sure I have. Oh, yeah, here it is. I have a tattoo machine and a, a rotary tattoo machine back here that does have a needle in it also. See the little needle? Needles? It won't focus. Anyways, um, another block. I think there's a remote back there. I don't even know. I don't even want to go too far back there. These are like random cards. These are like people's business cards. Um, I think I have like some old credit cards in here. I don't know. Just random stuff. I got a sticker. I have my old belly button ring just chilling in there. I got this. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this is. This is just kind of like weird stuff, you know? Uh, USB charger that doesn't even work. This is a box full of business cards that I don't use that I should pass out probably. So we're just going to put that back in there. This was in this drawer as well. This is just like my extra cords. Look at me trying to be organized. Trying. So that's going to go back in there. Hopefully this will close. Good. Oh my god. It's a long video, you guys. If you're still here with me, props. Thank you. This top drawer is all my lip products. So I got like my lip glosses and my lipsticks and my liquid lipsticks and more lip glosses. This was supposed to be lip liners in this one, but everything's starting to get a little jumbled. We got things missing caps and stuff, so... Like I said, I need to do a little decluttering and clean this out a bit. But this is still fairly organized. Not too bad. This is all my, like, eyelashes, mascara, eyebrow products. Fake lashes. I got all my little fake lash tweezers and all my lash adhesives. I have my eyelash curlers. Um mascaras this is like all mascaras and eyeliners and mascaras eyeliners um these are all like false lashes here obviously these are all false lashes as well and then these are all my eyebrow products so like brow gels and brow pencils and i even have a brow razor and just all my eyebrow stuff so this is like all the the eye stuff besides eyeshadows this is like all the other eye products that you would need this is all like my face products so like bronzers highlighters blushes and then these are like face palettes that have like highlighters and bronzers in them or like this one for example this is a new one and this is one of my current favorites but this has a bronzer and blush and then highlighters so this is all like those type of products all the palettes are back there and then all the individual highlighters or blushes um, are up front here also need to declutter this and then this drawer is all my face stuff like 
concealers. I have all my concealers over here. All of those. And then I have my face powders here. This is a face powder. This is a face powder. There's a face powder there, there. These are all primers. This is like overflow of primers because these are all primers and then everything in here. And there's like literally so many. Again, need to declutter. And then back here is all of my foundations. So this is where I keep all my foundations also need to declutter these but those just kind of live in there it's like my face products and then last but not least is this drawer and half of my nail sub is actually downstairs because i just started doing gel extensions this is the first that i ever did they're not too shabby um but i just got a bunch of like tips and stuff for to do gel extensions so i just did these the other day and so currently like my uv light and all the tips are actually downstairs that's why this drawer looks a little empty but all that stuff's not going to fit in here so i'm gonna have to like reorganize but this is my nail drawer because i do my own gel polish and now i'm doing my own gel extensions but this is where i keep all my um, polishes and nail supplies in here, but I need to clean this out. These are like to soak off your nails or whatever, but, um, need to clean this drawer, but this is all like my nail supplies. That's where I keep my nail supplies. Anyways, that is it for my vanity tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too boring or long. Um, I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to check out the description box for those links. And if you want more in-depth tours of like each individual drawer or if you want me to do a decluttering video definitely let me know because I would have fun doing that I would enjoy that if you want to see it so let me know if you like this video give it a thumbs up so I know that you like it don't forget to follow me on Instagram subscribe to my YouTube and thank you so much for watching I will see you guys in the next video bye